those that, that don't understand uh, the grading of, of lumber, it's, it's the process where um, the, the pieces of wood are being evaluated. And in the case of structural lumber, they're being evaluated based on not size, not location, whole size, whole location, presence of wain or absence of wain and slope of grain. That's what determines structural grades of lumber that are used to hold up walls or hold up floors or hold up roofs. In the case of Western Red Cedar, because it's mostly used in appearance applications, it is evaluated for the presence or absence of knots primarily. The higher the grade, the fewer the knots, with some actually having almost none, to lower grades of tight knot material where the knots will be well scattered and are not limited in size. And you will get larger knots in wider stock and smaller knots in narrower stock. So it's evaluating either the presence or absence of, of knots. It also evaluates grain orientation in the case of clears. So in, in clear cedar, vertical grain is available and vertical grain wood is the most stable piece of wood that you can get. So Western Red Cedar is evaluated for its appearance. The one thing that it isn't evaluated for and is never taken into consideration is color. And I get a lot of questions about tonal properties of Western Red Cedar and some people say, well, I want it to be all chocolate or I want it to be all tan or I want it to be all brown. And the color variation in Western Red Cedar is not part of the grading process. And so really one of the beauties is the wide range of color that naturally occurs. It can go all the way to chocolate brown, which almost looks like walnut, to straw colored heartwood. And then the narrow sapwood band, which is shocking white in color, is very, very small. But you get a wide range of color naturally occurring in this beautiful wood species. And of course, the durability is found in the heartwood of Western Red Cedar. And durability is found in the heartwood of other wood species, but there's very little durability in the sapwood of durable wood species. One thing that's unique about Western Red Cedar is it has a very, very small sapwood content. The tree on average only has about three quarters of an inch of sapwood all the way around right inside the bark. So from a performance standpoint, when it comes to durability, rot, decay, and insect resistance, Western Red Cedar is rated more durable because of its low sapwood content. There's a term that's used throughout the industry all over North America, and the term is STK and everybody thinks it stands for select tight knot. And in some cases it might stand for sound tight knot. If material seems to be too affordable or cheaper, it might stand for some tight knots, see-through knot, or my favorite, South Texas knot. There is no legitimate standard for STK. It is not found in a grade rule book. The grade for tight knot cedar that's found in the grade rule book is select knotty. And it's found in both the NLGA and WCLIB grade rule books. And all knots must be sound and tight and intergrown. The lower grade in the grade rule book is quality knotty. Quality knotty allows for the occasional soft knot, the occasional hole, and it allows for cutouts. Most knotty cedar products like bevel siding or trim boards are usually sold as select knotty, allowing a small percentage of quality knotty to be included. Usually it's limited to 10 or 15%.